Hello. For uh, the session today, I will be uh, discussing logging in, trading versus demo login, setting up pages, setting up quote boards, placing trades in the DOM, depth of market, and the trade ticket window, position and account management, orders and, pro orders and positions window, and uh, charting. Okay, to start, when you uh, you have two logins for uh, CQ, CQG, if you're going to be trading uh, through CQG. Uh, one of the logins is going to be to get into the CQG software. And when you click on your icon, you'll get a, a window that will appear. It'll look like this, a logon window. And you'll enter your username and uh, your uh, password. And then that will get you into the... Uh, CQG software will start, and you will get an image like um, you see here. It'll probably have a home page. It'll have a order entry window, a chart, maybe an order and positions window. And uh, then if you want to log in to the trading application, um, over on the left side here, I have a DOM uh, letter. And to the left of that is a setup button. That setup button will be always there, no matter what window is your active window that you are currently uh, manipulating. So if I left click on the setup button, I can click on demo mode over here on the left hand uh, side. And then if I click to place an order, uh, it's going to go in and create a demo account for me. And that demo account is shown up here on the top of the DOM letter, which is TS8513. And this uh, demo account will um, uh, reset uh, every night. So it will start with a new uh, zero uh, positions uh, the next uh, morning when you come in and, and start demo trading again. When you are done with your uh, demo trading, uh, what you do is you log off the demo account by using a log off button on the left hand toolbar. And then again, left click on the setup button, uncheck demo trading. And then when you click on the log on button, it'll ask you for a user ID and a password that you would, would you have received from your FCM, your futures commissions uh, merchant. And you would enter that. And then that would get you um, into your live uh, trading account. I'm going to reset demo account over here because we're going to be using that a little bit uh, later. Okay. So in the software, you can have as many pages as you want to store on the system. And up along the top of the window, we have some buttons. And one of the buttons is a page button. And if I left click on that page button, it's going to bring up a list of all the pages that are currently on this uh, system. Uh, the ones that start with uh, 1,000 and go forward, uh, those are sample pages that uh, you can uh, bring up. Um, this is a sample page 1,003. And on this page, there's a chart uh, along with a uh, study, a stochastic study. Uh, then if I left click on the page button, if I wanted to go back to page number one, which I was on, I left click and I'm back to uh, page number one. Uh, if you want to create a new page, uh, if you right click on the page button, it will bring up a menu. And typically when you right click around the CQG platform here, uh, software, 85% of the time you're going to get some sort of a menu. And then you can click on uh, whatever um, section you want to go into. Here, I want to go into a new page. So I left on, click on new page, and it's going to come up with the next open page number, which on this system is page number uh, five. And then when I'm on page number five, I can use the buttons over on the upper left to launch a chart or maybe launch a cold board uh, or some other activity that I want to do. Okay. I'm going to go to uh, page number um, uh, three, 
because I have a series of quote pours up here that I have uh, displayed. And to get to this area, up on the uh, top left, I have a quote button. If I left click on the quote button, I have uh, a number of quote pours that I can uh, select. And I've selected a few and put them on this particular page. And the one in the upper left is called quote board. And this has open, high, low, last, and what the net change is for the day. And you can see this is color coded as to if it's up on the day or down on a day. I have a green if it's up and red if it's down. And you can customize this, again, by using the setup button on the upper left-hand side is used to manipulate the windows that um, is the active window that you're working on. So here I can uh, click on quote fonts and it'll bring up a font window and I can change the font style uh, or I can um, increase the size. Here I'll increase it from uh, 10 to uh, 12. You can see it makes it larger. And uh, you can also, by using a setup button, you can change the colors as well. And you can do this for all of the quote boards that you're viewing on this page. Um, this quote board is called Market Watch. This is where you can list a number of um, symbols that you might want to be uh, viewing. And it has the last price and a net change. And what's below it, call this a thermometer. There's one over on the quote board to the left, and there's one here on the market watch. And what this gives you is a, a visual view of the range of the market so far, where it opened and where it's currently trading. So let me go over to the left view here. Uh, on the E-mini S&P, that's the symbol EP, um, EPM8 is June of 2018. Uh, where the uh, yellow diamond is here, that's the opening price. And the low of the colors is the low of the range so far. The up uh, or in the uh, colors is the high of the range. And the split of colors is where it's currently trading. So I know it opened went down a little bit, most likely. I can't tell by here, but I could tell if I looked at a uh, short-term chart, like a one minute. It went up and made a high, and now it's trading at the uh, mid uh, point of the uh, range. And you can verify this by the uh, numbers over here. Opened up at 31 and a quarter, went up the, uh, went down uh, to 30 and a half, it looks like. Then made a high at 41 and three quarters, and now it's trading at 36 even, okay? In the lower left, there's a quote board that's called Last Net Change. If you enter in a uh, symbol, it will give you a list of uh, futures contracts with their expirations. Uh, M8 is June, U8 is September, Z is December, December, so on and so forth. Over here, I have a quote uh, spreadsheet. This is where you can um, enter symbols, and you can choose what displays you want to look at across the top. If I right click on a price, I can go to customize columns, column, and this gives me a list of different labels that I can choose and then move them over to the um, to the uh, right. Here's the low, apply, so on and so forth. And now I've just added the low over here as well to the end. Then you can move these to the left to the right uh, and put them uh, of your uh, choosing. Um, the last one down uh, below, here, this is a custom quote board. This is where you can put custom studies on uh, a quote board. Here I have the E-mini S&P, the last price, and I have a RSI. And this is on a daily time frame, comma D. But I can put intraday time frames there if I want to as well. And the last one I put over here, if you like to uh, look at uh, options, the we have many different uh, views, but this is the options uh, monitor where in the center you have the strike price, and then on the left I have calls, on the right I have puts, and all of this information across the top. You can drag and drop if you want it in different areas. Uh, you can delete it. You can right click on a um, column, and you can add other displays that you would like to put across the top as uh, as well. So, And there's another quote board, which is one of our latest that we've uh, put in that's um, called a spreadsheet trader. And uh, this one is kind of unique because on this one here, you can uh, display the uh, prices uh, and all of these can be uh, added. 
and they can be dragged and dropped as well. You can also put on uh, bar uh, values. Here's an RSI for a five minute bar. But also what you can do is you can come over to the left of the symbol, click on this little drop down there, and it'll uh, produce a uh, DOM ladder that you can actually trade to, place limit orders, you can do market orders, and so on and so forth from here. And if you want a longer ladder, you can come over and click on the plus sign, and that'll make it longer as well, and you can shorten up if you want, and so on and so forth. So this is called the uh, spread, uh, uh, Spreadsheet uh, Trader. Okay, so now let's take a look at um, how we can kind of um, uh, enter into uh, into a couple trades. And we have many different types of trading windows that you can uh, choose from. Let me see uh, if I have a few out here. Okay. All right, these are uh, these are a selection of um, option uh, window or not options, uh, but uh, order entry windows that you can uh, uh, choose to use and to uh, get to them to uh, to launch them up on the uh, upper uh, left. We have a trade button. If I left click on the trade button, here's a list of all of the various different order entry windows. And this one on the left is a depth of market. Uh, this one is an order ticket. This one is, um, oh, what do we call this? I think we call this a um, split down trader. And then we have another order entry window, another order entry window. And down here we have an orders and positions, which is like the bookkeeping of where your uh, working trades and pill trades and cancel trades will be uh, shown. So over here on the Adam uh, ladder, we have a demo account up here. And uh, if I want to place a limit order, I can just go below the market. This is the inside market. Um, this is the current bid. This is the current offer. Uh, this is the book above the market. This is the book below the market, contracts that are sitting at these various prices. So if I go below the market and I want to put a limit order, let's say a 34 and a half, I come over to the left here, I left click, and it brought up a confirmation window uh, because I chose that in the preferences. And if I want to place an order, I can just left click on place an order, and down here on the DOM ladder, I have a limit order. Now I'm gonna take off the uh, confirmation to make it a little easier for me to work around during the demo. So I went to the setup button, I went to trading preferences, Confirms, and I'm going to uncheck Confirms. Click on Apply OK. So now when I left to place an order on the DOM ladder, here I'll put another limit order down below, and I won't get a confirmation window. But you might want to start off with a confirmation window until you get used to uh, uh, the activity uh, of putting orders uh, on the uh, windows, canceling them, modifying them. Uh, to modify an order, like in a limit order, if I left click on the limit icon, I can drag that up, I can drag it down, I can let it go, and it will uh, then move that limit to a various, uh, to a different price. If I want to cancel an order, I can left click on the icon, or right click on the icon, and the order is canceled. Or if I have multiple orders, like I do here, down on the bottom of uh, the uh, window, there's an X buys and X sells for sells. And it says I have two buys here, which you can see if I click on that, it'll cancel all of the uh, buys. Um, if I want to put in a stop order above the market, um, I can go to the uh, price. Let's say I go to 27.37 and three quarters or 38 even, I hold down the left mouse, drag it to the left and now I have a stop order. Again, if I want to modify that, I can left click, hold it, I can drag it down. If I want to delete it, I can uh, right click uh, and it's gone. As I'm putting these positions on, over here in the orders and positions window, let's put a few limit orders below the market, above the market, and you'll see here there's various tabs under the tab of orders. Uh, this is a uh, all my working orders. Uh, that I'm currently working. You can see them on the ladder over here. And this window has functionality as well. 
If I want to cancel from this window over here under the X, click, cancel it, click, cancel it. I can also uh, replace a price. If I click on the replace, I can click uh, a new price in there. Uh, I can go to the mark if I want by clicking market. And here I went to the market and it just added, I had four long up here and now I'm long five. This is my uh, my uh, profit and loss, I'm up $18,000. And um, here I'm gonna come over and cancel another one. And here I'm uh, working five. If I wanna sell one, I can either left click on offer, that'll join the offer. This is the offer price. If I wanna sell one at the market, and the reason uh, I say one is because down below on the window of the order entry vehicle, I have a one here in this cell. Uh, I can put uh, other numbers uh, pre-formatted. I have it set for a five lot, a 10 lot, a 20 lot, a 50 lot, and here's a one lot. If I wanted to just temporarily make this a, a uh, let's say four lot, I wanted to get out of all of them. I click four over there, come up here, click on uh, cell uh, four, and now my position is uh, flat. Um, there's um, other type of orders that we have up there where we have uh, some smart orders, we call them. If I click on this chain up here, this is a OCO order. So if I come down here and I click up here, I click here, unclick the chain, and now I'm working an OCO or o order. One cancels the other. So if I'm filled on one of these orders, it's automatically going to cancel the other one. And you can see in the working orders area, under the uh, order, it says OCO. So if I drag this one up here, let's drag it up here, I'm filled on that one, and it automatically uh, canceled the other side of the, of the OCO order. So here I clicked on filled, and these are all my filled orders for uh, the day. Um, here's my purses and sales for the day. I click on there, it gives me a, a, a drop down. So I did six lots, uh, long and short. Here's the individual trades, and here's the uh, profit or loss that I made. Down below on the orders and position, I have an account summary window where it shows what my uh, account balances are. Um, and as I say, under the demo, that's gonna zero out overnight and you can start fresh the, uh, the next day. Uh, the second window I have here that I'm gonna show you is called a uh, order ticket. And the order ticket is where you are not going to be clicking on the ladder itself. What you're going to do is you're going to be moving the uh, prices by using the mouse wheel. So as you can see, I moved this price down here to um, four even, 34 even. And what it did, it changes the prices on the buttons on the left and the right side. So if I want to, um, have a confirmation showing like all the time. I'm gonna move this thing down to this level here, click on buy, place order, and here I'm working that limit order. I did not take the confirmations off of the order uh, ticket window. I could do that again by using the setup button. So here I can uh, place limit orders. Uh, I can uh, go to the market and buy at the market, sell at the market, so on and so forth. Uh, cancel orders by right-clicking and so on and so forth on the icon. So these are just two of the windows uh, that you can use. Uh, some people like the order ticket window because in addition to having the buttons to click on, down at the bottom of the order ticket window, there's a orders and positions window um, as well uh, that shows um, the uh, working orders um, and so on and so forth down here. So. That's uh, the uh, order entry uh, window. Here you can see I'm working this order down here and it goes down here. So I really don't need the orders and positions uh, window up. And the last thing I wanna show you today is, let's go to page five, I think. Uh, let's see, I'll take a few things off of there. And um, this is charts. In the CQG, we have a number of charts that you can choose from. I'm gonna left click on the chart button up here and it launches a chart. This is an e-mini chart. Um, this is a four minute. If I wanted a 10 minute, just type in 10 
it goes to a 10 minute. Um, if I want a bar chart, this is a line chart. If I right click on the title bar of the chart, I have a uh, list of selections. I'm going to click on bar, and here I have a uh, bar chart. Uh, if I want to go to another chart type, I can have buttons on the left hand side over here that might char change to a different chart type. Like here I have a candle button, it goes to a candlestick chart. Uh, here I have T flow, it goes to a trade flow chart. Um, I want to go to a hike and actually chart, it doesn't have a button. So if I right click on the uh, title bar, I can choose hike and Hachi. And here is a um, hike and Hachi chart. This is one of our newer charts, the hike and Hachi range bar uh, and uh, Rinko are three of our uh, newer ones. And the Rinko chart is like a point and figure chart. Each one of these blocks have a certain number of ticks, in this case, five ticks because that's uh, what I have uh, uh, chosen. So as I say, you can um, choose to look at all the various different chart types. Uh, in our tutorial information, you can find uh, information on all of these chart types and um, all of the functionality of CQG. Here I'm going to right click on the question mark over here. And what I like to do is go to like what's uh, new in this version. And then besides giving me what's new in this version, I can come over here and I can either do a search if I want to go to a um, certain area, or I can uh, click on like here charts. And um, this is, uh, I can then just scroll through if I want. And it will talk to me about all of the things that I can do with charts and so on and so forth. And uh, you can do this quite easily. You can also go to our website, cqg.com, where we have a series of, uh, uh, a, a, it's actually a training library where we have YouTube videos and also where you can, if you want, you can look at our user uh, manuals uh, on that site uh, as uh, well. well. Okay, that's uh, all for uh, this session. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, uh, use the uh, demo account and uh, bring up uh, the various different uh, uh, functions of uh, ZQG and uh, enjoy your time with it. Have a great day. Awesome. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, uh, Allison. All right. Everyone have a good day.